Why, hello, people of the interwebs. I'm Bianca, also known as Cam, and it's been a while, and I'm sorry about that. Last time I uploaded a video was, I believe, April, maybe end of March. Yikes. Sorry about that. Um, one, I was kind of busy at first. Two, I ended up becoming stressed. Uh, three, I just ended up not doing it, and that's bad on my end. But I'm back now, and I'm in my usual spot here in this vicinity with a game in the background. If you're wondering, you're wondering what game that is. That is GTA V. And no, I'm not sponsored, obviously, because I, you know, have like three subscribers. But that's fine. I love all three of you. And... No, that was your sister. You didn't hear that? That was my sister. Ding! Uh, which she will be here. You might see her later on. But, so, what's been going on? You may or may not be wondering. You people watching may or may not know about what happened. But now, here it is on video. Last time you saw me was before April 11th. I know that because I talked about needing to dance in heels, and I despise heels. <laughs> um, I mean, I wear Converse and Nikes all the time, so obviously, you know, I'm not really fit for them. But since then, multiple things have happened. Uh, April 11th, I had my quinceanera, and you know what? I had a lot more fun than I expected to, which sounds kind of sad, but frankly, I'm not a party person, so I expected to, you know, do the church thing, which is kind of bad on my part, considering I'm, I'm an atheist. So, yeah, if you didn't know that, now you know. If you didn't know that, well, now you're hearing me say it once more. Um, did the church, you know, it was alright. Uh, Photographer was all over my face a bit, not too often, which is good because I would have punched the camera out of his hand. Um, got to my house. The party was at my house. I didn't want a really extravagant thing. I didn't even want the party at first, but I thought, hey, why not? I mean, you only turn 15 once, which by, for the record, I didn't turn 15. Uh, it was just a party for it. I turned 15 back in October, and, you know, now I'm here. Turned 16 this year. So that's fun. Another year older. Another year I've lived. Um, Another year closer to your death. That's dark. It's very dark. I don't know if you heard that. If you didn't, I'll, you know, put it in somewhere. Um, but anyways, uh, yeah, that happened. There was, I had, I saw, I invited some of my friends, which is what really made it fun for me. Uh, some, a friend that I hadn't seen in about a year, some friends from school mainly, and the part that I was really, you know, nervous about was two main things. The first dance, uh, which is the waltz that I had to do with the chambelan, and since I only had one, it was just us two. It went well, I tripped a bit towards the end, but you can't really tell, I guess. And then... Second thing, the thing I was most nervous about was the fact that I had I performed. It was a surprise to most people because they didn't know. Only a few few people knew. Um, either because my mom told them or they were around when we did rehearsal. Um, what is that thing that I did? I sang the song Rubik's Cube, originally performed by Athlete. Um, it was an acoustic version with the DJ's son and him playing guitar. I think it came out pretty nicely. Once once I did it, it I felt great! And now I will probably never sing in front of that many people again. Because I'm a twat. Uh, but otherwise it was pretty fun. I didn't really want to dance, <laughs> honestly. Like, outside of the whole wall thing, I didn't really want to dance. But I ended up doing so for a little bit. That was pretty fun. Um, so yeah, I had some family that lived far away, so they stayed over. 
for the night, which means I sacrificed my bed. And, but whatever, you know. And then the next morning, I was smacking the guitarist in the face with a balloon, in which he was smacking me back. Good fun. We did, we entertained ourselves like that for about an hour or two. I'm mature. Uh, he's my age, so, you know, we're mature. I'd like to think. But anyways, that day was pretty much fun. Next thing. Um, two weeks later, my cousin had a quinceanera. And for me, it started off like kind of alright. And then it went a bit low. And then it got high. And then I visited my old hometown. And that was really nostalgic for me because I haven't been there in years. Literally. I have, um, last time I was there, I was 10. I'm 15 now. So, quick, simple maths. Um, but yeah, we did that. Uh, it was a nice party. It was my first time eating in and out afterwards at about 12 in the morning. So that's fun. Yeah, so, there were some good times and bad times and whatnot. Uh, there was a band there. Uh, what were they called? If you didn't hear that, uh, my little sister said they were called Los Desesperados. Um, so I'll put an annotation or something. My little sister's slowly coming into view because she wants to give us a picture of not the whole band, but the boy that seems around her age because, you know, they... Yeah, I look, I look queer right now. You can't even see the picture. But yeah, there's the picture. Um, put your phone back. I'm just kidding, yeah. Awkward transition. Yeah, <laughs> Anyways, so that that was a good day, you know. It was, it was an alright day. Um, after that, not many big, big things have happened. Uh, school stressing me out as always. Because blah. And then, <laughs> and, um... For example, over spring break, I had a project. I may have mentioned it in the last video. I may not have. If I didn't, then this will be your first time hearing it, obviously. Uh, it was a project <clears throat> in which I had... It was basically a book report on the book that I honestly despised. It's called Farewell to Manzanar. I'll openly admit to it, I did not like it whatsoever. Uh, it's just... She seems like she's whining. I mean... I mean, I have nothing against the author, uh, Jeannie Wakatsuki Houston, I believe her, is the author. Something along those lines, I believe that is the name, that is her name. If I get it wrong, I'm sorry. Really, I am. <clears throat> but, frankly, that book was, is, was temporarily the bane of my life. The book report I wrote, yeah. 40 pages about. 30 to 40 pages. No. It was like, yeah, 40 pages. Some people I knew. 70. Hmm. I think I might be over exaggerating. I might be getting get confused with another thing. But, 40 pages. Really? I don't. I don't like that. <laughs> That's a lot of waste on my printer. Ink of ink in my printer down here. I mean, come on. <sighs> that class will be the death of me, I swear. Um, right now, we... What was I saying? Right now, we are working on something, on a, I believe, I'm not sure if it's a chapter of a book or a short story. I believe it's a chapter of a short story. Correct me if I'm wrong, but it's called And of Clay We Are Created. I read through it only once. But I absolutely really love it, honestly, already. Um, I can't wait to continue on. It's going to be the death of me, probably. But, hell, I'm willing to try. Um, excuse me as I move this. If you're wondering what this is, this is my pocket watch. I say pocket watch. I wear it around my neck. Um, you can't really see it that well. Oh, well, there you go. 
If you recognize that symbol, you obviously know where it's from. If you don't, well, it's the anti-possession symbol from Supernatural. Um, the watch, actual watch side of it. You can't see shots. But hey, it's worth a shot. I bought that at your local Hot Topic. Other stores are available. Or you could just order it online. Because that's a thing you could do, too. But, where was I going with this? Huh. As I was saying. So, that class, I am going to be happy to leave it. Uh, it's prepared me, I know that. I improved on my writing skills. I've improved on analyzing. But, gah, <laughs> school, right? And I'm only in my second year of high school. And I already feel like punching people in the face. But hey, that's just a thing that happens, you know? I don't condone it. But sometimes you just have those urges, right? Right. Anyways, <clears throat> so speaking about school, uh, these past two weeks we've had AP testing. Um, I took an AP my AP Spanish test last week on Thursday, and you know I honestly feel pretty confident about that. Um, it was timed. It's time. The only thing that I feel like I ballsed up on was the multiple choice. But otherwise, I feel pretty good on it. I believe that I will get at least a 4 on it. Uh, if you're not familiar with the scale, it's out of 5. So, uh, 3, 4, and 5 is passing. 5, obviously, like, super good. 3, you're passing. But hey, that's still good. And, you know, I think I'll get a 4, if not a 5. Hopefully. I mean, the multiple choice part is the part that I'm really eh about. <clears throat> Otherwise, the email response, which we were giving 15 minutes for, I finished 5 minutes early. I feel good on. The persuasive essay, I finished 10 minutes early. Now, I'm not sure if that's a good thing, but normally on my persuasive essays, I get really good scores. So, pretty confident on that. And then the speaking part of Spanish. Um, one of them, it was kind of hard, the conversation because I didn't fully understand what we were supposed to be responding to. But, you know, I kind of winged it <laughs> and just rolled with it. Um, then the two-minute presentation, that I felt pretty darn confident on. Now, I can't tell, I don't believe I could tell you what it was on, considering I signed a contract uh, saying that I won't say anything until the stuff is released on the interwebs. So, sealed, locking it throwing the key out, probably never to be seen again or forgotten about. But now, I have my AP World History Test tomorrow, which is the one I'm really kind of stressed about. Of course, I have a study book, though, which I will be reviewing that after I finish, you know, this video here. <sighs> and then I'll be done with testing, and I will watch Mulan. Mulan is cool, right? You know, gazoo pipe. I, do, I don't say bless you. I don't know why. It's just me. Sneezes are weird, you know? Like, I know a girl who can sneeze 20 times in a row. Like, what? Without dying? Without dying. Exactly. I can sneeze three times in a row, but it's hard for me because my sneeze is kind of weird. If I ever if I ever sneeze on the video, I'll leave it in. Just so you can, you know, hear the weirdness. I think it's weird. I've been told it's cute. I'm not one who gets called cute, which is why I find that weird. But hey. I, I, I'm not one to say. Um, I think I was talking about something else, but went on to sneezes. Because she sneezed, as she just said. Anyways, back to what I was talking about, which I completely forgot. I'm a bad person. But, you know what? Actually, I'll do something else. My little sister, she 
over the past weeks. Boom, right there. <laughs> she got into the dance team at her school. Woo. I can't dance for shit. But she can. Look at that. She's way more flexible than me. I can't even touch my toes. <laughs> it's sad. It's sad. But I will have her on here now. Occasionally. We look so much alike, don't we? Actually, we somewhat do look alike. More than me and my older sister, which she refuses to be on camera. She's not here right now, but either way, she doesn't really want to be on here. Yeah. It's not because of you guys. You no, three people watching, it's not because of you. It's because she doesn't like the camera. But anyways, I've brought her here. What would you like to talk about? This is Estrella, by the way. Oh, uh, why'd you tell me your name? They know my name. Okay. Well, I might have a YouTube channel. And I'm working self promotion. <laughs> no, I've been working on a dance to film for. So, yeah. My YouTube channel is called Estrella Servant. Estrella I'll put a link S. below in the crotch box, also known as the description box. It'll She's never heard me say that, so. It'll be up by next week, so check that out. I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> that was her foot! Because I'm flexing. Did you not? I'm gonna edit that insult out, just saying. <laughs> Anyways, um, oh, and also, uh, I haven't been completely on hiatus for the past, what, month or two? Is it almost, oh my goodness, it's been two months. Ha! <laughs> I'm sorry. No, it hasn't, no, it hasn't been two months. I'm stupid. It's been about a month. The mini hiatus, the one month hiatus that I've been on, has it been completely, like, off the internet or anything? I mean, I've been on the internet look. A shit ton. I just haven't recorded a video. But, you know, I did post a video on my other channel, which is where I do covers of songs, mainly with my ukulele. I have one acapella cover, which is kind of crap. A lot of them are kind of crap, in all honesty. Don't watch them. Uh, the most recent one, though, I honestly, the song is nice. I really do enjoy that song uh, and the band. Um, I messed up a bit on their intro, so... Yeah, I'm not a professional. Um, but yeah, if you want to check that out, I'll leave a link to my other channel. Or I may even put an annotation up here. If there's not an annotation there, then I am either stupid or stupid. Because I'm pretty, I've am pretty i put annotations before, so I'm probably just stupid or forgot. Um, and then if you're watching this on... A mobile device the link will be in the description box below so yeah honestly I don't have much else to say I've been told that I have a death stare today but then shortly after he said it's just my face so my death stare is my natural face expression useful I don't know but, normally, I'm approachable. Most people think so, at least. So, yeah, people, right? Am I right? Oh, actually, I have a short story to tell you. It's not really a story. It's just a thing that happened in my math class today. <clears throat> so, I'm in class. We had a substitute. And, you know, he just kind of went over some back thing which is the new testing it's an online testing that you do I believe in seventh grade and eleventh I believe do freshmen do it I don't know I don't know it's a new thing and I'm not taking it till next year so we went over that and then he gave us book work which was our homework which I'm not doing because I'm not going to class hey. um <laughs> but anyways uh we did that and you know this kid uh, this dude, he's a freshman, he's pretty cool, I don't talk to him too often, but he is, he's funny to talk to, and we have common interests, like, you know, fandom stuff, so yeah, um, uh, he's talking to this other dude, anyways, if you see cuts, that's because I'm finally getting the hang of correctly editing and cutting videos, because I'm that much of a noob on video 
stuff. Cuts! Yeah! Jump cutting! Somewhat. Anyways, so this dude that's in my class, K, I'll call him K. Um, he was talking about how he messed up his wrist once, and how now his wrist is permanently, like, messed up or something. I don't know, I didn't hear. But, the dude that I mentioned earlier that is cool, that I barely talked to, we'll call him N, for now. Yeah, he was, he was, you know, talking to him, and he says, right as the classroom gets dead silent. Does it hurt when you masturbate now? Yeah, the whole class heard. <laughs> and there was no recovery, really, from that. The substitute heard, kind of looked over, started laughing, and went back to whatever the hell he was doing. And I looked over, because they were, like, a couple seats away from me, and I just started laughing. Like, normally in that class, when we're giving book, given book work for the last, like, half hour, I talk to no one. I'm that one nerd in the back that doesn't do, that doesn't talk. Well, I don't sit in the back. I'm like the one nerd just at the side that no one really talks to. Everyone knows. Like, well, mostly everyone. Well, my class knows who I am. They acknowledge me being there. They just don't talk to me because I give off the impression, whenever I do my work, I seem to give off the impression of don't bother me. <laughs> I don't mean to give off that impression. I'm honest. If you have a question, go ahead, ask me. And people do. But sometimes I just, you know, accidentally give the death stare. So yeah, that's just the impression. Sudden lighting change! Whoa, how did that happen? Magic? No, it was just cutting the video. <laughs> Anyways, that's how my math class went. And it's pretty darn funny. Actually... That also brought me to a different class. In my history class, have I told you guys that people think I'm a drug dealer? I'm not, for the record. I am not. Ignore that little voice in your head. Ooh, where's it coming from? Ooh, it's coming from the little girl in the background that you can't see. Ooh, I'm you say little. Yeah. I say little. She's not that little. She's almost as tall as me. She's like up to my head. Oh, do height comparison, but frankly, no. Uh, yeah. Let's go. <laughs> Just kidding. Frankly, sorry, back on track of what I was saying. People in my history class think I'm a drug dealer. Why, you might ask? Because I joke about drugs a lot in that class. And I never mean to, like, it never became a thing for me first semester. But by the time second semester came, we read up. We read up in our history books about the opium war that involved China and Great Britain. And, you know, I would o I would always joke about drugs whenever in class. And it wasn't even too often. So whenever my teacher would mention opium, I would be like, oh, hell yeah, or something like that. And so it just became an ongoing joke that everyone in that class, all 27, not counting me, thinks makes the joke at me of me being a drug dealer. <laughs> Frankly, um... Whatever, some sort of drug, whether it's heroin, opium, weed, anything. Mainly this one girl, which I'm friends with, so it's not like she means anything bad against me. She looks at me, she's like, Bianca. And I just kind of look at her like, Duffa? There is nothing you can prove. If it's not on video, it didn't happen. And this is on video, huh? Whatever. <laughs> Anyways, excuse my awkwardness. I haven't filmed in weeks, months, in about a month. But hey, it's a personality trait. I can't just change it. I mean, I could try, but frankly, I would end up being even more awkward. So basically, I'm just trying to talk to you as if you know, you're right in front of me. Does it work? Probably not. Do I still try? Yeah. Does it end horribly? Occasionally. Three. Was that three? I'm pretty sure if it's three. If not, I, I can't count. Three questions that happen. So, moving on. Other things that the class thinks, other than me being a drug dealer. Well, they like to say I'm a drug dealer. Uh, we were talking about... 
Mexican Revolution uh, for a bit. And, you know, for s the fact that the CIA, if you didn't know this, the CIA used drug money to pay for weapons and, like, give them to developing countries at the time that they did that. I don't exactly remember when. Excuse me, but they we were talking about it in class. Drugs came up. That girl I mentioned earlier, she looks at me, she's like, Bianca. And I kind of looked at her like, oh, what I do? And and she's my teacher. He's like, yeah, it's the Mexican cartel. Bianca's part of it. Yeah, the class laughed. I kind of just looked at him like, that's nice. Because, frankly, not only does he... He's not racist. Just for the record, he's not racist. He just likes to tease me and my older sister, for example. Um, my older sister because she can't cook, and the stereotype is that all Mexican women can cook. And yes, me and my sisters were full Mexican, so which is why he likes to tease her about it. And in my class, I'm, I know I'm not the only Mexican, but I think I'm the only, like, full Mexican, like both parents from Mexico. I, I was, I'm not from Mexico. I'm American, but ethnicity-wise, I, I am Hispanic. Uh, there's one girl who does speak Spanish very well, and she looks like a complete, like, stereotypical white girl. She's nice, though. I like her. You know? And my sister says she speaks Spanish very well. I trust my sister because, you know, she took an AP Spanish test and everything. Um, so he likes to tease me about that. Uh, and then at one point, I was on my phone, I'll be honest. I was on my phone. That student, oh no! But... I was on my phone in class l reading something, and I realized, I was like, I should probably pay attention. And I hear him say drug. I look up, because I was like, oh, this should be interesting. Because, you know, all jokes aside, I find that stuff interesting. Not interesting to the point where I would use them. I don't do drugs. Uh, interesting to the point where the effects, I find like, wow, that can do that to your body. Like, any foreign substance that enters your body is a drug. But... I find it interesting to the point of how addicting they can get. I've never tried them. I've never smoked weed. I've never snorted cocaine. I've never injected heroin. None of that. Don't do that stuff. My sister's questioning how I know people do these drugs or how the process is done. Books. Go ask Alice. Oh my goodness. Read that book if you haven't already. I thoroughly loved reading it. I bought the copy, and I read it in about two days. <laughs> it's a short book, though, so if you like to read, if you're looking for a good read, I suggest reading that one, which is how I have my knowledge of drugs in some way. It doesn't give too much detail on drugs. That's how I know some knowledge. But as I was saying, what was I saying? Oh my goodness, but I remember. As I was saying, I looked up when he said when he mentioned drugs briefly, and he just kind of stares at me. He's looking down. He looks at me, and I kind of look at him. I was like, "What?" The whole class, or like I said it over exaggeratedly, honestly, just because you know, the whole class looked at me at that point. He was looking at me. My friends were looking at me. Everyone else turned to look at me, and I was like, "What do I do?" And he's like, "Oh, nothing." Long story short, I have the. The whole, it's an ongoing joke in my history class that I'm the drug dealer. And it's a pretty darn good joke. It's an insider between us. And, you know, that's just every day in my class. And now he's going to get us breakfast burritos tomorrow. Because we want food before we take the test. Because that's, what, four or five hours in a wrestling room? No thanks. <laughs> But yeah, I think, you know, I think I'll end it there. Um, not much else to say. Thank you, younger sister, for giving your input on prom shamelessly promoting your future channel. Or your current channel that has no videos, but it will. It will. Soon. Soon. Be on the lookout for that. Um, yeah. <clears throat> Hopefully I'll start filming today. Oh, shoot. Yeah. Okay, I'm done. So, <clears throat> that's that. Thank you very much for putting up with my awkwardness in this video. If you haven't seen my past videos, you sh you could. I'm not forcing you. Obviously, I can't really, you know, 
barge into your house and be like, watch my videos and like force it on your computer. I can't I can't do that. But you will find other ways to keep up with what I'm doing in the description <laughs> box below. You can find out my Twitter, my my Twitter, I my Twitter's eh. Don't look at it. <laughs> Don't look at it. But you could you can check, follow me on Instagram down below. I once it gets to a certain point, I might make a Facebook page. You know, people still use that, right? No, <laughs> I've been I've just been told by my sources. No, children do not use Facebook. Anyways, thank you for watching once more. Thank you, younger sister, for being here. Thank you for. Wow, I just said that a third time. I'm stupid. Me. Check me out on social media down below. Click that like button if you want to. Subscribe even if you're not. And I will see you next time. I've been Bianca. I'm Australia. And we'll see you later. Bye. Bye.